had to make the change. There wasn't enough of an income for myself, my mum and my dad. So this is our first year American. It was always in the back of my head that look at the farm was suited to it. I could take it on, you know. So I spent a bit of time over in Cumbria, England, milking cows over there and after spending a year there, I made up my mind that look at milking was for me and I wanted to come home and implement that here. You have to go see the parlour that you want. You have to come up with an idea and talk to an expert about what you want to put in, like, you know, and we looked at them all. But still, I think going around, Dairy Master was still the preference, you know, and I think they're, they're a nicer finish of a parlour. It's a 14 unit parlour with space for 30. So we're set for future. This year we're making 98 cows. I didn't want to stick in a parlour that could be caught in the future, you know. We were running on a budget and I chose to put a lot of it into the infrastructure and being set up for 10, 15 years. I'm delighted with how it's working, yeah. Cell count, cell count's down at 80. It's a bright parlour. Uh, cows are flying into it now at the moment. Cow flow is brilliant, making out quick. And we started milking in it the 20th of January. And I've never had any issue to start milking late or you know, anything like that, you know. It's a nice part of working. So the ACRs are just safety that cows are, are being milked and milked outright, and then you know, it's coming off to not being over milked. You don't want to be leaving the parlour, you want to be efficient in the parlour with your time. So we put the batch feeders in. It's obviously a big part of the cow flow, getting them into the parlour. At the moment they're getting a kilo and a half nuts. In the future we, we will put in an auto washer and you know, all that kind of stuff. That, that can be put in the future, but for now it's, it was try to keep it as standard as possible. Things I'm noticing it that I like is the cluster itself. They're lightweight, like there's no weight in your hand. That's a nice thing in the parlour to have, you know, a, a light cluster. You want to be able to stick the clusters on and be able to walk away from them and go on to the next one. No, I've had no issues at all. Even with even with the small uh, small heifer and I have a few crossbreds, there's still no issue, it just, just stays on, you know. And that's probably down to the fact that they're so light. There's no pull down on them. When I said at first that I wanted to go milking uh, three, four years ago, lads be telling you you're crazy. Lads be telling you that geez, look what you're giving up on and the crack, like all this kind of stuff. But I'm finding like the part we have at the moment, there's 98 cows going through it. There's no tie to it. We're milking seven o'clock in the morning and I'm out of place here in the evening time at half five, quarter six, which are evening off. You know, you get to spend time with your friends or whatever. You just don't have to be tied to a dairy farm anymore. If I was talking to a new entrant who's thinking about going milking, it's just about getting the right lads on board and talking with, with someone who's approachable, someone you can pick up the phone to and just have a chat with about things. Just even like if you don't understand it, just ask the question. It might sound stupid, but like I was in that boat, you know, so just pick up the phone, talk to these lads.